from fabulous Las Vegas, PartyPoker.net presents Powerful Poker Profits, starring Vegas Vic himself, Victor H. Royer. And now, here's Vegas Vic. Hello and welcome to our show. In this episode, we are going to introduce you to the world of Texas Hold'em tournaments. This program is intended to cover the very basics, including how to find a tournament and how the play and structure actually work. We are going to concentrate on No Limit Texas Hold'em because that is the game played in the vast majority of all the important championships. This series on tournaments has two additional episodes in which we will discuss more of the important and advanced strategies for tournament play. So to begin, let's go to the table. Poker tournaments are not only fun to play, but can be extremely profitable. There are many different kinds of tournaments and each will most likely be just a little bit different from the others. Those differences, however, are usually in the small details, such as a different buy-in, larger or smaller beginning stacks of chips, the fee that may have to be paid, optional fees, tournament structures, and perhaps some other options particular to that specific tournament. For all of those details, you should either look at the literature being publicized about the tournament you wish to enter, such as the ads in the major poker magazines, or simply ask the tournament staff to explain it to you. There will also be brochures and other such promotional items available at the tournament check-in desk. Since this program is an introduction to playing poker tournaments, we begin by showing you a list of the kinds of tournaments you are likely to encounter either in the real-world casino poker rooms and card rooms or on the internet. Modern tournaments fall into these categories. Multi-table freeze-out, multi-table rebuy, single table, limit structure, no limit or pot limit, and satellites. Naturally, in order to play in one of these tournaments, you first have to know how to find one. Finding tournaments is not nearly as difficult as it used to be. Today, you can find poker tournaments played on a daily basis in just about every casino poker room or card room, with tournaments being offered not just once a month or once a week, but every day and quite often several times a day. Therefore, all you have to do is go to that card room or phone them or look at the tournament grid published in just about every poker-related magazine or newspaper. For major poker tournaments, such as the WPT or WSOP, or any of the other major tournaments now being offered, you can also look them up on the web or check out the numerous ads appearing in all the poker publications. Finding a poker tournament is therefore quite easy in today's poker world. The majority of the tournaments are what is called multi-table, and this simply means that they consist of many players playing on many tables, all of whom are competing in the same tournament for the same price structure. These kinds of tournaments are exactly those that you see on TV, including those played on the WPT and WSOP events and the European Poker Tour. The word freeze out simply means that you can buy into this tournament only once and that is with your original entry fee. This is the direct opposite of rebuy tournaments where during the rebuy period you actually do have the option to spend another $100 using the same example and in effect rebuy yourself into the same tournament while it is still in progress. In a multi-table rebuy tournament, this simply means that you are playing not only in a tournament with many players playing on many tables and competing for the same price structure, but it also means that during the rebuy period, usually either the first hour or the first few levels, whenever you lose your chips or have less than the amount of chips with which you began, you can add more chips or replace your lost chips by purchasing them for more money. In some tournaments, this may be limited to only one rebuy, and these are usually called single rebuy tournaments. Others may be identified as unlimited rebuys, and that simply means that during the rebuy period, you can replace your chips or add to your chips if you are below the beginning stake amount as many times as you wish. Almost all rebuy tournaments also include something which is called add-on. This is an option which, at the end of the rebuy period, can be exercised by all players still in the tournament at that stage, regardless of how many chips they have. In most such tournaments, the add-on amount is usually the same as the rebuy amount, but the amount of chips you normally get is double the rebuy stack amount. 
single table tournaments are just that, small tournaments consisting of only that one table and only those players that are able to be seated at that one table. Such tournaments are also known as sit and go. For Texas Hold'em, this usually means 10 players per table, but many casinos, as well as on the internet, you may find such sit-and-goes with only 9 player positions. There are also tournaments called multi-table sit-and-goes. For example, such a tournament can have a limit of 30 players as a maximum. This will mean 3 tables of 10 players per table. As soon as all 30 players have made their buy-ins and have taken their seats, this tournament also starts automatically. These are very popular on the internet and are also offered during major poker tournaments as a means to win an entry into the big buy-in events for a smaller fee. Satellites are one-table tournaments and can often be called sit-and-go satellites. These tournaments are again very popular on the internet as well as during major poker tournaments as a means of winning your way into the big buy-in events. Today, No Limit Poker rules the universe. No Limit tournaments are just that, no limit, and that means that there is no structure or limit on the amount of money that you have to bet or can bet. The only proviso is that you have to wager at least the amount of the big blind or the amount of a wager made by other players before it becomes your turn to act. Finally, there is something that is colloquially known in gambling and poker parlance as the juice. This is more correctly known as the vigorish, the fee that you are paying to the organizers or facilitators of the tournament. In addition to this juice, the vigorish, many of the most popular tournaments will also withhold a percentage for the tournament staff. Usually around 3%, this is an amount withheld from the prize pool to pay for the dealers, floormen and all of the other people that are necessary to organize and run a modern poker tournament. On the internet, this fee is usually not charged because there are no such people needed. But in the real world, these people are needed and as a result, you should be aware of what this fee is and how it impacts the overall price structure. This concludes our program about the basics of poker tournaments and the steps you will need to take even before you get your chance to sit down and begin to play. There is a lot more to playing tournaments than just showing up. In addition to finding the right one, there are many important skills such as patience and good hand selection criteria that are absolutely crucial to your success in any poker tournament. We will continue this discussion in parts 2 and 3 of this series. For now, and until next time, remember to play smart and play to win. I'm Victor H. Royer and this has been a presentation of PartyPoker.net. Bye! <laughs>